Hi everyone, hope all is fine with you. A few trades were posted by our graduate students and global instructors on June 3rd, Friday. And uh, this is a clip from uh, uh, Castra, uh, who has uh, shown here that he shorted NASDAQ's CFD on the Forex broker. And as you see, he took two position 0.1 here. And let me show you just the area based on my chart. Yes, so just a second. So shorted around 12,700. You see it's 12,700 uh, on NASDAQ is here beginning of New York time. As you see, uh, this is the downtrend that is started previously in the London market, and then it continued the downtrend uh, in the New York session. And as you see, uh, this this is a channel on five-minute charts, and you can see it better with better entry on one-minute chart now. Trading charts, so. As you see here, uh, Castro entered in a two position here with very tight stop loss and aimed to get profit around 12,500, which is here, oh, completely down here. And so I think 12,500 is here, very large profit with very high win to loss ratio. So initial risk was this much. And initial and level of profit is this much. So many times more with high probability around more than 80%. So this was a very nice trade with significant amount of profit, uh, taking the whole chunk of this downtrend with this whole chunk of this downtrend, downtrend swing with tight stop loss was taken. Also, uh, Castro shared this clip uh, from a trade who took again short position on NASDAQ CFD <coughs> futures contract. And again with tight stop loss the short position was around 12,576, close to the end of the New York session and the week. So 12,576 is here. If you go here, this chunk was taken. Then this area close to the end of market, 12,576, around this area, this wave here. We go at yeah, 12,576 with the target around 12,500, but it's actively managed and closed manually uh, with trailing a stop and based on order flow. So you see now that the risk is uh, to reward is really nice, and you have here this much risk and this much reward so far and you can see clearly again downtrend pattern and a kind of wedging wedge if we go here that this past year or it doesn't matter this one support become resistance here so here you can see that this is a nice entry area and all algos passed and therefore he is aiming for 1200 12, which is here i think it reached up to 513 and let me see five even 505 so I think he closed it manually with very high profit at uh, this moment 
is around 520 so it had the room little bit more around 10 to go so thanks Castro for sharing all these trades with us very nice performance uh, also Yasin sent this uh, picture of his trade on the S&P 500 future CFD and using a forex broker he is as you see all these charts are aligned uh, similar to the Nasdaq that uh, cave showed you and very easy to find the entry with very good risk to reward ratio and also high probability he's gonna send the video separately himself and the uh, MF uh, shared this clip with us on the cable uh, so you see he shorted the Great British Pound USD uh, looking at four hours we all have rejection here at this level and uh, you see the channel and you see it uh, on 30 minute chart here and you see it better on, uh, I think just a second yes it still is 30 minute but bigger anyway uh, very nice uh, entry with um, low risk and very high reward and it's still because it's high probability the high person win and this is the um, target that was uh, sitting on the next previous support area so let's see what happened to his trades so he usually manually close it if this trend line breaks he can he will close it yeah he's putting that and that's the end of his uh, video and uh, still if he closed it at this point he had initial risk to reward which is one to three at least and very high percent win that results in high expectancy and profit factor so thanks mf uh, for sharing this nice trade with nice trades with us hope these are useful for you and let us know if you have any question have a wonderful day and weekend